Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Zips, and welcome back to Wild Frost. Uh, I don't see much. Wait, who, who did we play last time? I think we played Shade Masters. I'm pretty sure we played Shade Masters. Did I? Are we playing Shade Master? Did I play Shade Master? Because I don't remember. I don't remember these units. Maybe I don't. Maybe I didn't want to remember these units because these units are kind of bad. I guess we're playing Smug Smugdle here. Four turn counters, okay. 8 HP is pretty sus on one of these kind of units, but 5 H attack is pretty okay. Uh, today, for t today's name, went back to the random Pokemon plus random word generator combo, and I got Reggie Gigas in country, so I got we got County Gigas. Who am I playing with this? I'm kind of feeling Speak. Speak is the one that speaks to me. And we get into penguins, which is very nice. Wish my... Unfortunately... I wish my unit had just one extra attack. Um, I can take this damage here. We are going to try to set up a multi-kill here. In fact, I can't get... Not three kill, because I'm stupid. Well, okay, there actually wasn't a way I could have gotten that off because he was still applying snow. Who okay. cares? It it does not does not matter. Hopefully. What does matter is this motherfucker right here. Ooh. Okay, you know what I'm honestly gonna do? I'm gonna play Junkhead, and I'm just gonna sacrifice Junkhead. I, we're not gonna need Junkhead for the next wave, because we're just gonna, like, spike. Oh, well, I, um, I'll be fine. Right? Hopefully. Hopefully, I'll be fine. B. Pink. I need either the three, or I could just know you more. Is this right to do? Am I, am I really threatened by Big Pink? I don't think I am. I'm just gonna try to get what money I can. Five damage. It's fine. Maybe I could've inked. Maybe to be extra, extra careful, I could've inked Big Ping. Uh, actually, no, I can just slam redraw here. Or I can just go for the guaranteed kill on Big Ping. Don't have to worry about drawing into snow. Alrighty, off. Farming the goblin and off farming the goblin and getting the big spike multi kill. We walk out with a juicy little ninety three dollars, and we get probably the best possible first. Uh, Foxy Blunky. Now we gotta remember, Foxy can really struggle in the early game. So we, if we're gonna pick Foxy here, and I'm probably gonna pick Foxy here, unless I want to get goofy with Blunky. Blunky's honestly. I mean, like, what's the advantage? We gotta a ask. What's the advantage of playing one over one of these guys over the other? Because I'm not sure. Foxy. Because okay, my 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 brain with Blunky. Okay, I think I'm gonna take the slightly safer because I Foxy to me just feels like he's been better in the past. So we're gonna play. Feels like more can go wrong with Foxy. Okay, picking up a bomb bomb is I meant I just mentioned we're gonna have to respect with Foxy. You always you always gotta respect. Here we need to respect the early game. And this, all right, we set up the Uba Bear to die. County Gig is getting. Am I playing at this hand? I suppose I am. I should have bled off with ink, maybe. I am now snowed. Snow. Ayo. Uh. <laughs> I was trying to. I was trying to recite a. A. a fucking Red Hot Chili Pepper song. It's like snow. 
snow. Eh, I don't. See, see, this is this is the struggle. I don't. You see the struggle here. I don't remember how the song goes. So now I, I'm just looking a little goofy. Okay. Let's get a. Let's get those red gamers. Remember, you can recall units. You can heal units by recalling them. Did you know? <laughs> does does he know that you can recall units? Or you can heal units by recall. You can recall by healing. <laughs> you can unit by healing recall. You. I'm trying to. How, how do I fuck? How do I fuck up the sentence more? You can heal. You can units heal by recalling. But you can units recall by healing units. Sure. I don't. I don't know what I'm saying. I think I might be having a stroke. <laughs> Jumbo, Jumbo disposed of pretty handily. So what's the, so good things for us to find here. A sun charm would be, a uh, sun cream would be, okay. In terms of items, sun cream would be good. A uh, bomb barrel would be good. Something like, bomb barrel, maybe like a cool little multi, uh, a furnace. What's the furnace item called again? I always forget it. Lumen Lantern Grabber Ice Dice. Do I think I consume Grabber? Probably not. I don't think I take. I don't think. I can't imagine I'm going to play Lumen Lantern here. I would rather have. Eh, maybe it's better to take the treasure there. Jumbo Mini Mika. I think I'm gonna take. I'll take. I'm happy with our units right now. I'm gonna take Mini Mika, put Mini Mika in the sidelines, and maybe if we run into Lumen Ring, we can play Mini Mika. Cloudberry Charm. Um, I mean, I guess I could just say my. Oh, wait, no, this goes on Bomb Bomb. <laughs> this absolutely goes on Bomb Bomb. That's crazy. That's actually really good on Bomb Bomb. Bomb Bomb! Basic, ooh, sun cream is pretty nice. I do like sun cream. I also like clockwork bomb here quite a bit. I could also take, um, I think it's probably gonna end up being clockwork bomb. And this setup, initial setup seems pretty good. We're just gonna, let's just continue on. So what? Pretty decent. So initial setup, pretty decent. Maybe could, should I try going for critical there? Actually, maybe. What I want to do here is I want to try setting up for a big multi. It'd be really good if I could kill this. Ooh, yeah, this is sick. We take out. We're gonna absolutely. We're gonna okay with this bomb bomb. I just. I say we're gonna absolutely maul. We're gonna maul this. We're gonna maul this early game. And I get to get a nice crit. Then I get a nice critical shot off on the boozle. So in this fight, I definitely think we have the ability to just try to chill out. To get yeah, to just chill out and play. What am I trying to say? Fucking, I, I'm blue. We can, you have the ability to just kind of chill out and play, um, and chill out here and just get money. That's what I'm trying to say. That is what I was looking. That is the words I were. I. That is the words I were looking for. What would be, something that would be an excellent and extremely powerful addition to this run would be Sun Charm. And I gotta say, it feels like it's been a while since I've seen Sun Charm. So I think I'm due. Okay. I got, I feel, I think I am owed. So we're killing you. I, we end the fight next turn. Uh, wait, is there a way I can do this without Spike dying? Yeah, there is. Um, 
Wait, oh no, what am I doing? I could have easily gotten, I could have easily gotten him. Ah, uh, I'm, no, actually I, I do get the, I do get the floor kill here. We have found it. Foxy, doing that for Foxy gets you. Why do you feel, feel a little awkward? <laughs> I feel a little awkward today. Also, I think I might be getting sick. Because I've been having a, a, a bit of a coughing spree lately. Newland Charm is really strong. And I think that's something we can play into. Oh. Okay. Well. Um, on one hand, I I just ate shit. On another hand, I see a goo I see a fun little I see a fun thing we could do today. This is what I have in mind. Newman Clockwork Bomb. Is what I have, and then we get to duplicate it. Let's see if this is gonna be good. It sounds, this seems like, this to me seems like it should be a winning lot. Or, <laughs> winning lot? <laughs> okay, that's saying a, quite a lot. Honestly, I might, I think BG is who I want to play here. Maybe this is just like a run where we stack bomb and then Foxy just like goes for, where all our damage is, um, uh, I am not supposed to have five units in my... I am not supposed to have five units in the... Be able to have five units equipped. What the fuck? Spike! Why can't I... Why can't I get rid of... Uh, there we go. Okay. There we go. That was weird. Unfortunately for me, I think I have to hold on to this crown until I can get something that allows me to play sun. So I gain the ability that I can play, that I can actually play sun free. God, missing a crown here fucking suck. Ugh. It's really so fucking, it's really so fucking annoying, man. Missing a crown when you need it most. It's bullshit, man. It's fucking bullshit. Alright, well, we set up this Krunker to Omega Die. Oh, man, where's my fucking fox? Where the, where the hell's my goddamn fox? Alright, you know what? This, this entire... Everything is dead. And Bomb Bomb is back up to full health. This is, this is a very, this is a very neat little line we have here. Somebody mentioned, somebody in my comments, in a cup, left a comment on my, my last Wild Frost video sent it. It's like, mentioned, left a comment saying, you know it's gonna be interesting when you have, when the, thump, when the run is centered around an item and not a unit. Like, check this, check these. I'm just, I'm just saying, man. God, if only this gear hammer here, then I could get double, then I could get two in one. Uh, this goes here. Fortunately, Bomb Bomb does take a bit of spike damage, but that's fine. I can freeze the Goblin. The pure, 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 procure? Yeah, procure. That's the word I'm looking for. Procure a little bit of extra money. Uh, but is there any way I can actually keep him here? I can, and I can also kill him. So what we what we're gonna just want to do here? We're just gonna want to remove as many cards as we can, so we can just. Re in fact, I probably should actually take. I put BG in the build. It's honestly probably better if I just remove BG. In all in all honesty. Let's freeze full go. And I think we're looking pretty damn good. This setup. So what do I... Often I find creative, like more unorthodox strategies like this usually work out pretty damn well. I feel like this, I feel like this kind of build is a bit subject to, 
is subject to a bit of RNG though because like mainly because th this could go like crazy if we get good critical critical setups yeah we definitely want this top path we want to go through every single removal removal we see oh bomb border why are you aimless I should take should I take mimic I think I should take mimic Ugh. feels uh bomb border Oh, bomb border probably would not even have been probably would not even have been been good Hopefully you my mic my hopefully I'm hoping my mic didn't pick up something weird might have might have heard something very strange I apologize if you did and if you didn't hear it well anyway moving on oh god oh why did I have to Crying so fucking much, man. Missing a crown is just. God, it's never gonna feel good. Am I... I'm gonna actually get so fucked up here, man. I need to block this Bigfoot, and this Grumble just got insane value. So I can likely, I think I need a redraw here. I really wanted to play Sunk. Oh wait, but then what the fuck? Wait, then what do I do against Bigfoot here? Watch him die. Uh, watch as he kills me. I guess so. Cause I need this Grumble out of here. Okay, so Grumble is dying. Let's set up BG here, I think. Or, okay, how much damage is it? It's not enough to kill the Bigfoot. So, unfortunately, we do have to take a very big... We gotta take a very nasty hit here. Sheesh. This is... This is not good one. But NEST, okay. Game, you really don't want me to win, don't you? Huh? Just fucking be honest with me. You're gonna... Wooly Drake is gonna eat... The teeth charm here, and I'm gonna fucking be dead. Okay, thank goodness. Reality is sometimes not what you think it is. I can't let. I really need. Oh God, what do I do here, man? I have no idea. Okay, um. You eat bomb. Maybe I do something like this. Okay, if I do this, I can likely get the kill next turn and then heal up. Let's try this. And we got critical clockwork bomb. Okay. This unit... How does Foxy not die here? How do I not die here? Uh, Foxy does not die here via... Okay, then I can just... Anything... Okay, I can spend this turn to get a bit of extra damage on... Well, direct. Okay, I would love a freeze here. God, I don't think it's... A... <laughs> Honestly, I really don't think it's enough, man. Maybe I sacrifice... God, this is a nightmare. Maybe I sacrifice, um, maybe I sacrifice BG here. Because I think this fight is going to be really hard to get out of without a sacrifice. If I sacrifice BG here, yeah, no, that sounds like the, this definitely sounds like the correct play to me. Okay, now... I think I just lose on the spot. I d actually legitimately don't think there's anything I can do. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god. Okay. Um. Maybe don't give up hope. What the fuck am I have never felt more checkmated in my life. <laughs> Man, th this win streak was going really well. I'm, I think I'm gonna lose the win streak here. 
I really don't think there's anything I can do. Maybe if I can... Okay, I think there might be something I can do, but it's gonna involve me having to sacrifice. Okay, let me... Let me think about this. I think what I need to do here is that I'm gonna need to sacrifice Bomb Bomb. I think trying to keep Bomb Bomb alive here is not gonna happen. Okay. Con County Gigas gets a heal here. We hit you. We set you up to die. Now I need to know how I... Now, is there a way I don't die next turn? It's not looking like it. What happens here? I'm pretty sure Bomb Bomb does die here. Okay, I need a redraw. Um. Okay, we heal up. Oh yeah, Bomb Bomb does die. Ugh, fucking... It might still be possible. Um... I need to snow this turn. That would've been really good. Can... Do I have enough damage output to kill... I think I have enough damage output with the bomb to kill Big Lou before he can kill me. I need to redraw. Okay, second Clockwork Bomb is huge. Okay, we freeze Grumble here. Okay, we walk. We actually get out of this fight alive. Holy shit, man. What a fucking awful setup, man. Damn. Oh, I was so incredibly sure we were dead there. And we might be dead, honestly. Okay. Hmm, Shade Sculptor to get another Clockwork Bomb sounds pretty nice. Maybe I'm leaning too much into this Clockwork Bomb idea. Uh... One, okay. I put this sun cream in my, in my deck. I think I need to stop thinking about trying to play around sun cream. I think I need to play around fo uh, foxy. Um, I think I need to play around f foxy plus. God, I don't know, man. Do I take another removal so we just no? I think I think it's. Is it unnecessary? I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. I really don't know. Cause this Charm Merchant seems like- I'm gonna go to Charm Merchant. I'll take the- maybe we- oh, What if I were to take Haze Blazer here? And put him in the back line. Heart Charm- <laughs> You know, I was gonna say, yo, critical on Clockwork Bomb? And like, oh. I was gonna say, well, yo, we could do critical on Clockwork Bomb, and then I was like, oh yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, oh yeah. Uh, I see GM might just be nice, nice to take because I don't have a lot of survivability. Something I was kind of, kind of thinking about is that maybe I could take Critical Charm here and we could play on Sun Cream. I don't think it's right though, because I did just mention we are we're probably gonna forego that idea. So I think I might honestly just take ICJ. No, I think I'm just gonna save up for for rolls at the machine. Please, God, give me this fucking. Okay, roll once. We get goat charm. Okay. <laughs> Dorian charm. Okay. It's looking a lot better. 
Foxy is now able to put up some actual damage. We're gonna have to get through this fight with my units fucked. With my units extremely compromised. Wait, I did this. Unfortunately here, I think I need to... Unfortunately here, I need to put, like... I'm gonna need to put Curse Crown on my... Okay. I'm gonna take Storm Globe here. Fortunately for me, I'm pretty sure we are gonna be playing Mimic. I'm gonna save Heart Charm here in case I need to play it on my leader. Do I take... Do I actually just take Bomb Bomb off the team? Is Bomb Bomb too much of a threat to herself? I think she is. So for the setup, we can do Foxy. So if I don't... I think I'm gonna need a th in the late game. God, this feels awful to do. Just extremely terrible. But I'm gonna have to do it. It's some fucking... No, wait. Act, uh... No, I can't do that. I told myself in the past that that feels... That that's cheap. Rearranging your... Re rearranging your charms like that. Oh, but I really want to put this on Mimic. Who cares? <laughs> no, I care. I... in a it Because I'm dumb, I care. Because I'm dumb and it doesn't matter, I care. Alrighty, let's let's do this the correct way, according to myself. It really isn't gonna matter that much. Hope it hopefully won't matter that much. Alright, let us continue. Alrighty, clockwork bombs. Here we go. Why do I still have bomb bomb round? I am fine though with God. I'm just back, back to menu like three, three times in a row, man. What is up with me? I meant to switch around my units here. We're gonna take bomb bomb off the squad and let her heal, let her wounds heal. I guess I'm playing haze. I guess I am playing haze blazer. All right, let's do it. It's been a while since that. It's been a while since we haze blazer has been able to see see the see the spotlight it's been over he always gets overshadowed by units that are actually good and that that's not true I think this I don't know maybe it's just that the, he just gets overshadowed by units that are actually good I think getting junkhead I think getting all your units out here God damn, I don't even kill, man. What the fuck? Okay, um... Spike, I think I'm just gonna sacrifice you. Goodbye, Spike. Killing this puffball right now seems pretty good to me. Ooh, Haze Blazin. He is... Blazin? He is Blazin for a Hazen? Who do I Haze Blazin? Who does Haze Blazin hit? Haze Blazer hit here? Um... I'm gonna go for the hit on Truffle, because... Okay, well that's a lot worse than I... I think I should've let Haze Blazer attack first. That was my bad. In this, this case, I'm thinking I'm gonna hit Shroom Gobbler. But that's, I'm probably just gonna end up killing Shroom Gobbler. Gobbler. I think it's, it's better to put it on the Truffle, I think. Uh, what do I do this turn, though? I don't really have much I can do. I guess I can do this. Some junk. I want to save this turn so we can do this. It is cool to see that each of the splits have that all of. It's nice to see that all of the splits have have haze. That's that's pretty cool for us. God, we act. We do serious. I might have just ended myself. Um, okay, you're not attacking. Haze Blazer, I think I'm just gonna let you die. I'm sorry, Haze Blazer, but... 
Um, yeah, we're gonna do this. Oh god, wait, Gobbler. Actually, I might just be able to win this turn. Yo, yeah, you saw what I did there? I gear hammered. You saw that shit? I gear hammered just in case that were to happen. Okay. I should just walk out of this fight. Not ha let's not deal with let's not put up with this gobbler. Let's get let's exit out. Let's leave this fight and get our units healed up. Um Okay. Definitely Sunbell minus one draw. Very glad I took this heart charm because we did not see heart bell here. I think I am gonna take the bit of extra damage for Foxy. I don't, what's better here? Inking or I mean inking always has a lot of benefits. I think I am gonna take it. Look at all our fucking units that are uninjured now. You know, I just realized something. I was exiting I was exiting in and out so many times that I lost my fucking I no longer have my fucking my goddamn storm glove that I bought. Ugh. Price of being indecisive, man. God, why do we have so many units? I feel like I have not visited not visited that many. I guess I did just vi Feels like I haven't visited that many. That many things. Alrighty. Uh, let's let us bling it up. So this is either gonna go great or we die. Which is usually how the all these, you know, usually that's how these fights pan out. I don't need Clockwork Bomb to kill this guy. What I can do... God, I actually missed out on so much damage because of my because of putting Demonize on Foxy here. Damn. Or, I, I get it back if I do this. Yeah. You get Junkhead out here, and then the deck, and then... We are able to redraw again. I think I'm gonna call on the enemies here so we can do some juicy, juicy clock, clock, cock plays. Uh, ooh, wait, this does not work out actually very well. Um, all right, I probably, I think the better play, we'll just do this. Um, I guess I killed the crab, which is okay. <clears throat> Fortunately for me. Honestly, you know what the best thing I can do here, I think? Freezing freezing our leader. Our leader is just would just hit into crawler and activate it. And then like trigger mimic and then mimic would hit into crawler and then it'd just be a huge headache. But then if we let Foxy attack first, all the problems go away. Get sun cream off here. We are very ahead in this fight. Very, very much ahead. You know what would be really funny here? I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna jinx myself. It'd be really funny here if I didn't... If we... If in this final ring, I didn't see a shop. That'd be hilarious. Actually would be one of the funniest mo... Would, would one be one of the funniest moments ever. I've gotta say. Be a real... Show the games, really show off the game's comedic chops. I'm digging my own grave, man. <laughs> I can, I can already feel it. I can feel the, I can feel the grave. Let's set up this, let's set up this burster to die and then just redraw again. God, the clockwork bomb. I do, I do love the clockwork bomb. The clockwork bomb set up. It does feel very, it does feel very fun. It, this run is nice because I've always, I've always maintained the fact that Clockwork Bomb is probably one of the most under, is probably like one of the most underrated cards in the game. 
It's really, it's a, it's a very nice little card. Look at all these effects you got, Numskull. You were demonized, bombed, and inked. Sheesh. All right, we walk out of this fight, and the clock or the fucking bomb bombs—they're just like popping all over the goddamn place. Right, I thankfully did get a shop, so the game was feeling game was feeling quite merciful today. Hey, um, game, this is this charm says. Reduce effects by one. Why did this not reduce recycle by one? Oh wait, it did. <laughs> wait, it did. This is usually recycle too. I'm just a dumbass. <laughs> okay, never mind then. I wonder if that's better. Oh, more bomb, you say? More bomb. Gnome charm. Uh, probably worse. Strawberry Charm, do I even have any cards that consume? I have this. So I could take the crown off of. And I think I will do this. I'm gonna take the, we're gonna take the crown off Sun Cream so we can finally, finally play. So we can freaking finally do this. Get, get Junk Head plus Sun Scream off. Seems pretty good. I mean, junk, get the junk plus sun scream combo. And then Foxy with the clockwork bombs just goes insane. I am probably just not going to play aimless on. I guess I can throw it on County Gigas. So. Alright. This run has been really cool, and I hope it does not falter last second. Uh, show me Great Charm. Cake charm. <laughs> you could put it on fucking gear hammer and be real silly about it. Uh, this is not good on anything, I don't think. We want the clockwork bombs to stick around. Shame. Maybe we can just throw it on ink and then we can have like a perma ink. Or I could just make a gear hammer consume. Mm. I'll just make a gear hammer consume. Yo, gain gain plus five gain plus five damage. This card's great. A, I don't know what I don't know what everybody's talking about. Okay. Here we go. Goes on you. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got it. I got it. I know the rules. I followed the rules since I was young. Now, I it's going to be hard in this fight. I probably should have inked Frost Guardian. That probably would have been a whole heck of a lot better. Hopefully, it's going to be okay, though. I think I want to say... I think I just want to play Junkhead this turn. I might just recall Bomb Bomb, honestly. Ooh, thank goodness you got the ink here. Or else you could be in a... bit of trouble. Seeming like... Okay, I feel like I'm under a lot of threat here, but Junkhead can really just take most of it. I wonder if the aimless is gonna mess me up in any way. So this, these units here, all these these units are gonna hit, hit. I can do this actually, and then we, and then it's one less hit. Yeah, and then we junkhead just takes it all. I can take it all, and he did. Oh, I guess aimless is actually pretty damn good with um. On Catty Gigas is pretty damn good with Mimic. Yeah, that's true. I didn't think of that. Okay, I'm pretty sure we got all the threatening enemies out of the way. This... Ooh, this Plum, actually. I should try to play around this, because this Plum could be really threatening. 
should definitely try to set up. What am I gonna do against? What on God's earth am I gonna do against Frost Guardian here? Um, kill it first. I guess so. I guess that's my best option. <laughs> it really is, really is my best option here. Yeah, I gotta admit. All right, seems good to me. I'm gonna ink Uba Bear here. I really hope. Again, the big threat on this field right now is honestly, if Bob goes down here, it's really not a big deal because we have a lot of backup units we can use. That we we have a ton of backup units we can use to replace Bomb Bomb. The big annoyance, the biggest annoyance about it. Is that we lose out on our easy kill on Plum. But honestly here... Nah, don't be lazy. I can just... Okay, let me think here. Honestly, I think it probably it would just be better to play somebody like... BG on final... B to tank... To, to tank instead of Bomb Bomb. So I might think, honestly, just gonna let Bomb Bomb go down here. Even though I can just let my unit just let your just let your leader take it. Don't be a fucking don't be a fucking wuss. Don't be a don't be a sissy. Alrighty. Um now, nah, especially you should not have let Bomb Bomb die there, because now you need to let Bomb Bomb die here. Goodbye, Bomb Bomb. Yep, yeah, Bomb Bomb definitely goes down here. I guess I could've just let Mimic die. Eh. I actually am not able to end this fight as, as okay. Uh, that's insane. Fucking double up. All right, I think we're gonna be okay. That's a lot of bomb you got there, friend. That's a lot of bomb your whole, that's a lot of bomb you got saved up. All right. I think this should work pretty well. We're gonna take Bomb Bomb here. We're gonna take Bomb Bomb with the squad. I choose. Who do I choose here? I choose BG. Alright, seems like we are ready to pop. So, big goal of this fight, big goal here is just drill as much bomb into Frost Jailer as you can, and then you're good. Okay, here we go. It's probably, although... Well, let's see, I think I just redraw this first hand. What the fuck? What's wrong with my turn counter? Why is it a two? Odd. That is not supposed to be like that. Okay, I think I do just redraw for. I think I. I think I do just redraw here. Getting out this. Getting this bad. Bad hat. Yeah, getting that bad hand out of the way. Honestly, is pretty nice. Cause then we just get to load up. Uh, do I need to load both of them onto? Okay, this turn we're gonna hit Frost Crusher. I don't think it's right. I think I need to put this damage into Frost Lancer. Ooh, we're all take already. Ooh, but Counting Gigas heals. Oh, Counting Gigas. There's a chance Counting Gigas heals here. All right, I'm gonna put this bomb into you. It's still pretty scary. We're dealing a lot of damage, but the enemies we're also pretty low already. If we get the heal here, it's very big though. Let us put damage into you, Frost Lancer. Ah, unfortunate. It's it's not something. Unfortunately, that's that is not something I was uh, that isn't something I was exactly thinking on though. Um. I think I just redraw here again. Ooh, God. 
Okay. So what you gotta do here is really sketchy, but you need to let County Gigas go down to one here. So you can freeze. Unfortunately, bomb Unfortunately for us, BG never got a chance to get off an attack. Also, I need to take my screenshot of a I need to take my screenshot of these clockwork bombs. I don't know if this was the same clockwork bomb. I'm going to take a screenshot of that one too. Cuz this thumbnail is going to be the is going to be both of the clockwork bombs. So what's the best Candy Gigas goes down to one here. Goes down to one here, but you allow that. And then you need to freeze Frost Junker. No. Math, I. The game isn't just gonna say County Gigas takes one extra damage. It can't just do that. Ah, I should have Clockwork Bomb. Ooh, I really should have actually Clockwork Bombed Ju Frost Crusher that last turn. My bad. But no, I think. I think we got this. I think we've dealt enough damage to where we can safely end the fight. Right. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah, no, we're good. I do kind of want to see if I can get a, a crit of... Honestly, I'm going to dilly-dally here to see if... To get a critical for the thumbnail. To actually take another screenshot to get a critical clockwork bomb for the thumbnail. Just a little bit of BM for the, a little bit of BM, BM for your mind. This was a super cool, this was a super cool run. Never have I done a run like this where we're just stacking so, where, where, I've done runs. This has to be, this felt like it's been, was like one of the most efficient, definitely one of the most efficient like bomb stacking runs I've ever done. It might have honestly be the most efficient, which is, or maybe barring actually no, it's probably barring some. Nah, that's probably not true. The most efficient probably it probably involves bomb barrel. And currently, if we win the next run, we surpass our streak, which is very nice. Uh, this leader seems has a lot of health, which seems okay. This leader has a three turn counter, but long shot and long shot is cringe. We're probably gonna be playing this unit next time. All right, sounds good. And wait. If you guys enjoyed this episode of Wild Frost, make sure to like and or comment and or subscribe. While you're at it, while you're at it, share this video for your best friend or greatest enemy. I'll catch you guys later.